Hey, it's Daryl Webster from Modern Workplace Scenarios. Good to see you. Together mode from Microsoft Teams. I got to experience it today. Thanks to Stephen Collier for pulling us together and uh, and helping us to experience this with some other Regardian 365 friends. What is Together Mode? Let's take a quick look and uh, remind ourselves of what this feature is. It was an interesting blog post from Microsoft talking about the stress of attending lots of meetings. So Microsoft have repurposed some of their AI tech that extracts backgrounds and replaces them to bring us all together into the same background. Now this, I had some sort of skepticism around this thinking, ah, oh, it's a bit gimmicky, it's probably not going to last very long and in fact I found the regular swapping of backgrounds a bit annoying and distracting but as you'll see from a quick run through with Stephen that the experience of using um, together mode was actually pretty good. So let's take a look at some of the the way that this played out. Um, we had four people we managed to duplicate one and, and cross the five threshold to be able to use together mode. Let's see it in action. Now Stephen's uh, fired this up and you can see that there's two of Stephen in um, this meeting. We've got uh, four of us and Stephen's also using his mobile. So interesting thing, first impressions were like, okay, um, we're different lighting, different effects. One thing that still gets me, I guess, is the way that the AI or the, the tech tries to remove that background and leaves us with a bit of feathering and sometimes it doesn't detect our bodies very well and extracts arms and legs and pieces of heads. But here it's not so bad. It, it seems that the background expands and, and um, encompasses the number of people that are within the meeting. But the other thing that I notice here too, just pause here, and uh, as uh, Daniel Glenn joins a, a bit later on, um, we have, actually I'll let it play here, we have the, the members of the people are in together mode and in the stage, but they're also uh, signified down the bottom there. Um, they've got their initials. And you can see when Stephen's talking that that little purple um, circle that we've used to seeing is showing that he is talking, apart from him and his lips moving <laughs> actually within two, two videos or two people. Um, so that's interesting to see that. My impressions here, I'm actually at a standing desk. So interesting to look at that and think, hmm, okay, we're, we're not all at the same level. I, I did have to crouch down, I guess, to try and be at that same level. Was that gonna be distracting? Probably not. Is it distracting that uh, parts of our, our um, faces and bodies are missing and, and coming back? I actually don't feel it to be as impactful or as distracting now that we're all in the same background. When we were using different backgrounds, it was quite distracting. Now, I found this interesting too. You see how Stephen's stretching his arm out here, and we do try this a bit, and Alistair leaning over Stephen. Um, that the, the overlap, uh, where is there a seam and an edge to this overlapping going on? Um, so Alistair does appear to be in the back row as part of this AI. He is layered behind Stephen and Stephen was able to reach up over the top of him. But as we jump ahead a bit, I'm experimenting a bit here about where the overlap is and where does my arm actually start to disappear? So there's something in there that has a border and it's, it's allowing me to have my arm over the top of Stephen. Uh, and I think that that's also relative to my experience. Probably on Stephen's screen, he'll see his arm potentially over the top of mine. So it's it's I'm unsure about how that works at this stage. Now, I thought it was going to be gimmicky, but uh, it actually put me at ease and I was uh, enjoying the meeting. Now, I've been in a lot of online meetings, but I did have, a, I guess, a noticeable difference in that experience. I didn't feel like I was trying to concentrate on who was talking and where they were talking, but it was actually easier for me to identify who was talking because we were all uh, had the same background. Now, one of the points that was raised was once you're presenting content, then the stage view disappears and we go back to um, using the common uh, people underneath, uh, the, the pictures that represent us. Uh, I think Stephen said that the background is still shared though across all of us as we are extracted and put down below the presented content. So it'll be interesting to see that when it's in action. Now the, the last point I'll make too, and I say this in Stephen's video, you should check it out at the top right hand corner there as the pop-up comes up. This is my experience of Together Mode. I turn it on and it's it's in my control about whether I see it or not. We did have some awkward moments early on as um, people were positioning themselves because they could see together mode, but 
Daniel who came in doesn't have that feature and it looked really odd as we were shifting around and trying to make ourselves look right within this together mode. So I can turn it on, I can see it, it's lower in my stress levels I guess uh, and I am able to concentrate on the people within the, uh, the meeting. So that's together mode, thank you Stephen for putting that together and uh, helping us experience that. Um, Great to collab with you on that video. If you're keen to see more about Microsoft Teams, about Microsoft 365 and the modern workplace, then subscribe to my channel and set the notifications so you can know when I post a video and then it's over to you whether you want to watch it or not. Bye for now.